Experience Marketing Conversation for Business Owners. This is your host, Lorraine Ball. And this time of year, we always start thinking about the holidays and holiday marketing. And there are some things that you can do that will really bring people in or turn them off when it comes to holiday marketing. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And to have this conversation, I've invited Carolyn Belinska to join me. With 20 years in digital marketing, Carolyn excels in automating small businesses and high ticket automated lead generation funnels. She's a global speaker, guerrilla marketing expert, and she has two podcasts where she empowers women. Carolyn, welcome to the show. Hi, Lorraine. Thank you so much for having me. You're on my podcast and it's been a great episode, so I'm so glad to be here with you today. I absolutely love flipping back and forth, sitting in the guest chair and then the host chair and having these just great conversations with somebody I feel like I already know. Yeah, fantastic. And your episode made me think about a lot of things for my own business. So I was very grateful for that as well. Well, I'm getting ready to start planning some holiday marketing. So I think this is good timing for me too. When you're talking to business owners about their holiday marketing, what do you think some of the big mistakes are, some of the don'ts that they really need to be aware of? Okay, there's two probably big, big don'ts. And one of them is that they don't plan far enough in in advance. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is that they're thinking about holidays that are not really that important for their particular business. So everyone gets stuck on Valentine's Day. And maybe if you're selling something like, I don't know, what have I got in front of me? Uh, The microphone that I'm wearing. This microphone for podcasters is not really a Valentine's Day gift. present uh, item. So think about what sort of uh, time of the year you should be promoting. And there's going to be a time of the year for every single business. So yes, while Valentine's Day is important, while um, Black Friday is really important, it's coming up. But at the end of the day, if you have got something that's particularly, say animal, something for animals, There's World Animal Day. I know which day it is because it's actually on my birthday. It's the 4th of October. So uh, World Animal Day is actually a day that if you sell something to do with pets, then that's a great day for you to be promoting your products. That's such an important thing to keep in mind because also if everybody is wrestling, is if everybody is rushing to get a Valentine's Day message out there or a Thanksgiving Day message out there, you're going to get lost in the shuffle. And the thing that I like about things like, say, Animal Day is that it's far enough away from Christmas that it sort of doesn't interfere with the Black Friday and Thanksgiving. But it's also that time of the year that it's a really good time of the year to be pre-selling on Christmas presents. Hey, we've got a special offer just for this month and get your animal presents in, your pet presents in really early at this discounted price. So I think there's ways to play on that that you can really have some fun with. Absolutely. Okay, so we talked about the don't, which is, don't. Uh, first off, is it's don't wait till the last minute to plan. Yes. Don't fixate on the holidays that really don't, don't fit your business. How about if we switch gears and look at some of the do's? How do I build a marketing calendar that takes advantage of holidays? Yeah, so the first thing I'd recommend is finding out what days are really important. There's a couple of, I've actually, I'll give you the link to my calendar. I've got a calendar that I've created. Now, there is a couple of Google searches you can do, but there's about five different places to find out all the special event days. But I would look through all of that list and then say, which are the main days that I want to focus on? You only need a couple, get three or four of them over the year and then say, I'm going to stick to those. Even the first year, stick to one, Mm -hmm. do that one really, really well. And then what you want to do is really create a whole system around that. So you want to think, okay, let's, let's just say Valentine's Day. It's a day that we can all think of. Let's say it was Valentine's Day. You don't want to be thinking about that in February. You don't even want to be thinking about that in January. You want to be thinking about that the year before. So then what you want to do is come up with a whole series of emails that you want to send out. You want to set up all of your social media posts that you want to create. You want to think about your actual graphic design. So you want to have new imagery just for that special day because, um, 
thinking about, you know, you want to stand out, you want to have something fresh and new. Now, you don't need to go and get photos taken. You could just get some nice backgrounds and put your product on a different background. Mm -hmm. But think about or a frame around your picture, something like that. So think about your imagery, think about the actual emails that you'll be sending out, thinking about the social media posts you'll be doing, and then really plan that out in advance, at least three months in advance. For some business owners, that seems really far out, but I totally understand the benefit of having everything ready to go and being able to focus on the phone ringing when you're in the middle of it. Mm. And also you've got to think you're just you, for Valentine's Day, you're not sending out an email on the 14th of February. Mm -hmm. That first email, if you're sell, selling, say, flowers or chocolates or jewelry, you're sending that out probably a month before at the minimum. Like, it depends on your business. You might even send that out two months before to say, hey, think about your girlfriend for, you know, this jewelry that you can buy her. You're sending that message out two months in advance or putting up ads two months in advance to get people thinking. So don't think about the day. Think about when you're going to start advertising. And when you think of it like that, three months in advance of planning is actually not that long. No. So what about on the other side, once you're past the holiday, are there ways that you can still sort of cling onto that great event to maybe carry you through a little further. Definitely. So Valentine's Day is a good example. You might turn around and say, hey, you've missed out on Valentine's Day. You might actually still need a gift. Here's an idea. Maybe it's for Christmas. Christmas, you can turn around and say, hey, maybe you haven't seen all your family yet. Here's some family, some ideas. And then also um, using SEO to your advantage for things like Pinterest, when it comes to gifting, especially if we're talking about holidays, using Pinterest to your advantage. Pinterest works. I don't know uh, what your listeners are like when it comes to Pinterest. Pinterest is a scary place for most people. Pinterest works a little bit like a snowball. It starts off really small and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So then as it rolls down the hill. So then if you're putting up a pin for Valentine's Day, three months before Valentine's Day, it's not getting traction until about six months or a year afterwards, unless you've already got a big following. Mm -hmm. So you putting out your Pinterest pins around Valentine's Day this year will get you ready. We'll, we'll coming up for next year, sorry, the next Valentine's Day. We'll have you ready for the year after on Pinterest. And that's SEO. You're coming up on the first page of Google if you do it really well. You're also coming up on the front of Pinterest. So there's just really good ways that you can use your marketing after the fact and still get a lot of traction with it. So, um, as you're thinking about your content, are there types of content that work better for holiday promotions? Are there things I definitely have to have in my toolkit? Definitely themed imagery. I think that that's really important. Think about the theme that you're after. Um, I see too many times people doing a Black Friday ad and they're just putting up the same standard things they always put up. Make sure you're doing something new. You're doing new graphics, new imagery. Think about the wording that you're using as well. Um, we're talking now a lot about, you know, what are these uh, emotional words, the emotional trigger words that mm -hmm. people need. Now go and do that research on something like ChatGPT and find out what are those emotional trigger words around Christmas time. And maybe it's a dog. You know, when I'm not a fur, uh, what do you call a fur, a fur parent? For mommy. Not, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So for me, I don't even know what the term is. So I'm not definitely not that person. So, but someone who's actually, you know, has their dog and they love their dog, there's going to be certain words that really resonate with them. So you need to make sure that you're using the right words for those people. Make sure you're using the right imagery. Awesome. Okay. Closing thoughts. If I'm planning my marketing calendar for next year, what do I need to think about to just last tip, really think about to, to make the most of this holiday season? Put some ad budget behind it if you can. So think in advance if you're doing something, say Valentine's Day, or if you're doing a very small day that might be, you know, there's National Pancake Day, there's National um, Blue Shoe Day, like there's all these sort of random days that are nothing to do with like the general big days. Let's say there's a Blue Shoe Day, I don't know if there is, and you sell blue shoes, that's a fantastic day for you to think, hey, I'm going to run a whole lot of ads. So thinking about some ad budget, especially for special event days, would be a really good way to, for you to spend your money and not spread it out during the year on just random things. Awesome. Well, Carolyn, this has been fabulous. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. 
You're welcome. And thank you for having me. I really enjoyed it. Great questions. Oh, I love, I love talking about holidays. I love celebrating holidays. And so I'm definitely going to keep some of this in mind and I'm going to encourage anybody, if you are interested in some of the things that Carolyn has been talking about, you definitely want to check out moreclientsleshustle.com. There's all sorts of resources there. Carolyn, thanks again. Thanks, Lorraine. Bye. Bye. And if you've enjoyed this conversation, if you'd like to find other resources for your business, look for MTFW wherever you listen to podcasts. Listen to two. They're short. This has been another episode of More Than A Few Words. Thanks for listening.